Hey, I'm Alex here at Capital Deals in St. Paul, Minnesota at Capital Deals Bike Shop. Uh, we are a reseller of the Yuba, Yuba Supermarche cargo bike and I'm here to basically give you a five minute video live, unwritten, and uh, just to go through this bicycle. If you have any questions, let us know. Um, but let's start at the can't live without. And I would say that would be the Bionics motor. Um, this is, I think it's a 55 pound bike out of the box. And um, it gets pretty heavy. And once you add, this is a 31 pound box. And then my child is basically 50 pounds. And then we have another. We're live, what can I say? Sorry for the truck. But we, I put my little guy here and um, you know, basically 110 pounds worth of cargo plus me. Um, we zip around, we do about probably about 12, I did 13 miles on this bicycle today. Um, down to um, 13 miles back, stopped off at the Capitol. Um, do we talk about the bionics? Do we talk about the, oh, let's, go, let's go back here. So basically, we've got a 20 inch wheel. This is kind of cool. So basically, this is where I carry my cargo. Um, there used to be a lock. Um, so I use this. This is one of my locks. It's the Abus folding lock. I usually lock this to a post. I've got that U-lock on there right now because I walked inside for two seconds and it, I'd be sad if anybody rode my bike away. But this is the Yuba lock. It goes through right here to lock the wheels, but you can see that it's bent a couple of my spokes, uh, which I haven't been too happy about just because I come out and I forget. And then this is the storage holder. I do find that my rear heel does kick up against this. So I do use, not, I don't store it in here. I store it in this little bag, um, but I try to put as many locking mechanisms. I even have this. Um, pumps and tools that I carry inside my bike, screwdriver, snap-on high-vis, extra cable, pump, rear-view mirror that I haven't hooked up yet. Maybe I was thinking I would add this somewhere over here so I could watch my children, but haven't gotten around to that. Green Guru bag has fit really well. Um, we've got the horn radio combo. I know most of you guys have Bluetooth radios, but I'm real old school. I do have an iPhone um, holder, but it just doesn't work for me. Um, let's go. Pretty proud of this box. It's basically a three-part system. We've got the board, found plywood, cut it with a chainsaw. I don't have a wood shop. I'm just a guy that just makes this stuff. Um, this was a lot less than $500. Um, it works for me. In an ideal world, it would be a lot lighter. That's kind of the probably the version three. The first version of this, believe it or not, was the cardboard box that it came in. If you look at our Instagram photos, you'll see pictures of the box. I literally took the box that this came in, cut it down, and just made it work. I have about a minute left. I'm gonna show you the kind of the linkage system here um, for the steering. I haven't, most of these, uh, front loader cargos usually have some kind of link that goes under it. So this was the first time I saw Yuba with basically there's two of these cables and then there's two on the other side. They run all the way down here, down into this, which is basically a super long rod. If you look at my Instagram, I have a picture of just this part on Instagram and one of my things. Um, the other mods were the Surly Moloco bar, which I really like. Um, similar to the Jones, but what I really liked about this was this flat bar here that allows for the panel to go in my cell phone holder. Kind of a secondary position. Don't use it that much, but it's still very nice. Um, got 20 seconds here. This is going to be Alex Wong signing off. If you like my videos, then like me. If you want to talk to us, call us. We're really easy to reach. Um, but I really, so far, total winner on the bike. It's an aluminum frame, tons and tons and tons of fun to ride. Um, 
What else can I say? <laughs>